why Chinese billionaire Zhao Zhanghua is in jail for 13 years. In a historic ruling, a Shanghai court condemned Chinese-Canadian millionaire Zhao Zhahua to 13 years in prison and fined his firm a total of 55.03 billion won or 6.8 billion pounds. The Shanghai First Intermediate Court said that Zhao, 50, and his Tomorrow Holdings conglomerate were charged with illegally absorbing public deposits, betraying the use of entrusted property, and the illegal use of finances and bribes. The Shanghai court announced that Zhao had been penalized 6.5 million won and that he and Tomorrow had severely violated financial management order and damage state financial security. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss why Chinese billionaire Zhao Zhanhua is in jail for 13 years. So stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. On Friday, a court in Shanghai handed down a sentence of 13 years in prison to Chinese-born Canadian billionaire Zhao Zhanhua. The court found him guilty of bribery, illegal use of funds, and other financial crimes in a case that has touched upon the highest rungs of Chinese political power. Zhao Zhanhua was found guilty of all of these charges. Zhao was last seen at the Four Seasons Hotel in Hong Kong in 2017, and his disappearance in that year is considered the result of abduction by Chinese security operatives. Following claims that Tomorrow Holdings, the investment business he created, has connections to the family of high-powered former officials. His case has been the center of attention for watchers of the factional intrigue inside the Chinese Communist Party. On Friday, the decision was published on the official social media account, the Shanghai No. 1 Intermediate People's Court. In addition to receiving a jail term, Zhao also had to pay a personal fine of 6.5 million won, or $950,000. Tomorrow Holdings was required to pay a fine of 55.03 billion won, or $8.08 billion. The ruling stated that Zhao and his company had done severe damage to orderly financial oversight and severely endangered national financial security by bribing officials with $680 million won, or $100 million of stock, property, and cash to avoid scrutiny. The bribes were given to circumvent the oversight that was in place. In July, Zhao, who is a holder of a Canadian passport, was put on trial in a hearing that was held behind closed doors. At the time, the Canadian embassy stated that its representatives were not allowed access to the proceedings. Concerns about Beijing's expanding influence outside of the mainland were raised due to the mysterious disappearance of a businessman in Hong Kong in 2017. According to a story from Reuters at the time, Zhao was reportedly spotted for the last time being rushed out of his five-star hotel in a wheelchair with his head covered, despite having no problems with his legs. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Now let's continue. In the name of Zhao, a statement was issued on the front page of a newspaper in Hong Kong claiming that he had not been kidnapped to the mainland and that he was instead recovering from an ailment outside of Hong Kong. A significant time later, the Chinese authorities acknowledged that they had him in custody. An expert on China's legal system named Jerome Cohen referred to the operation as a brazen kidnapping and stated that it was a warning to all that Hong Kong was no longer a haven from the reach of Beijing's secret police. Zhao is one of several business tycoons brought down due to an anti-corruption campaign initiated by China's leader Xi Jinping. In 2018, Wu Zhuahui, the founder of An Bang Insurance Group, was sentenced to 18 years in jail, while Ye Jianming, the founder of energy giant CEFC, is still being detained pending the outcome of his trial. Possibly the political sensitivity of Zhao's business relationships with some of the most influential families in the country is another factor contributing to the secrecy surrounding his case. In 2014, Zhao was said to have helped broker a deal for Xi's older sister. According to a story in the New York Times, Zhao once said he aspired to construct a Chinese copy of the investment banking behemoth J.P. Morgan Chase. The domestic press described him as a prodigy, and he tested early at China's renowned Peking University. Morgan, according to the Huron Report, a list of China's wealthiest, his family's fortune was estimated to be around $5.8 billion in 2016. In 2020, Chinese authorities seized control of nine companies associated with Xiao's Tomorrow Holdings. Xiao's prosecution was one of the numerous warnings for China's corporate sector, ahead of a crucial Chinese Communist Party Congress in the autumn. It is anticipated that Xi would break precedent by remaining for a third term. Zhao's trial took place before the Chinese Communist Party Congress. Diddy Global, a giant in the ride-hailing industry, was hit with a $1.2 billion punishment by China's cybersecurity authority for breaking data security regulations following an investigation that lasted for an entire year. The business journal, Caixin, stated one month ago that the mogul of a semiconductor industry, Zhao Wuguo of Tsinghua Unigroup, had been removed from his house and was being questioned by authorities. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comments section how this one was. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.